Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to our show. Five, six, seven, eight. Say it with me. I was waiting for you. <laughs> you always start it. Five, Five six, six, seven, eight. eight. Hello. Hey guys. Jinx. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Out of Line. I'm Bryn. I am Kelsey. And we're your hosts. Welcome Every back. Every week. I hope you guys missed us. <laughs> From a whole week ago. From a whole week, I know. I know, um, it's a long time. But this week, we really just wanted to get right into it. Um, we wanted to do a girl talk episode because... I made a TikTok recently about how birth control made me be a literal psycho. And I just wanted to share my experience because I know that a lot of people have different experiences, Mm -hmm. but I feel like a lot of girls can relate to my experience and maybe I can help you decide whether or not you wanted to go on it or not. And then... Yeah, we just always get questions like, "Yeah, we get when a did lot you get your period?" Girls like, <laughs> like our age or even younger that just like have these personal questions that I feel like not a lot of people talk yeah. about enough. And like, obviously, so, we don't care. We'll talk about it all. If you're a guy, this ain't for you, and leave. Yeah, you probably won't be entertained by this. I'm so no sorry. No way. Okay, um, <laughs> so uh, do you want to start with? I feel like your period story is funny. my first period story is it, it's grand. So. Long story short, most people go to like the sex ed class or whatever it is that yeah. like explains the period and what to expect and all that stuff or like your parents explain it to you or whatever. Nobody taught me that. I didn't have any older sisters. For some reason, my mom didn't ever talk to me about it either. Like it just, I don't know. I heard about it through friends and had no idea what to expect. And so anyways, long story short, I was in the middle of freshman freshman year. I think it was the beginning of freshman year. I was 15 years old, which most people start younger yeah but like we'll get into that later but so i was like 15 years old sitting in the middle of my english class and i just felt like i literally peed my pants that's what it (laughs) felt like and i remember standing up and i can specifically remember i was wearing a denim skirt with like patches all over it don't ask me why but that's what i was wearing patches on it in the front not on the back like it had like patches like that you buy and then like you iron on like those things you know what i mean but i didn't make it i like bought it from like h&m or something stupid but anyways i'm wearing this denim skirt and i remember because i stood up and my like seat was just covered like a puddle of blood and i didn't own tampons i didn't know how to use a tampon like i didn't know anything and so then i stood up my friend jada mcfarland she was sitting next to me and she was like dude it's all over your skirt like whatever and i was like what do i do i remember sobbing crying and she was like you just grab your backpack and go and i'll explain to the teacher i was like okay i grabbed my backpack and i ran out and she told me that she like explained it to the teacher so shout out you thank you and i told the nurse because schools are like stupid strict sometimes and so my school's rule was like you're only allowed to leave school if you're like throwing up or like whatever so i lied to the nurse and i said i was barfing and she didn't even see my skirt i said i was throwing up whatever she calls my mom says i was throwing up my mom picks me up i was like i wasn't throwing up (laughs) yeah (laughs) and so even then like i don't remember her explaining anything to me she just picked me up and i went home and i changed and like she went to work and yeah it was just weird i still had no idea what i was doing so i went into my mom's bathroom and i grabbed a tampon and i just guessed and i don't know (laughs) if you guys can relate i've also never used pads or anything a lot of people started doing that but i guess i just yeah i no. didn't even think about it well as a dancer too yeah like pads aren't a thing like pads are like <laughs> i don't know it didn't yeah i don't know my mom didn't own them it, my option was tampons so i just guessed and like if you girls can relate when you first try using tampons i'm so sure i did it wrong because it hurt so oh bad. yeah probably like for the first few months that i had my period i was doing it wrong because <laughs> it hurt constantly and then finally i asked Addie moffitt how she put in her tampons and she <laughs> kind of explained it to me a You're little bit like, better oh. and it made a little bit more sense but it was a whole event in itself like just and i'm sure my whole class saw the pot- puddle of blood i don't know who cleaned it up for me like yeah so that was really humiliating for me personally but eventually i learned how to use a tampon yeah. so <laughs> i've grown now well, but that's good yeah and i was one of the latest people to start but yeah. i remember you asking me questions because you yeah. hadn't started yet and i felt so cool i was like oh. <laughs> Because I didn't start till my was sophomore like, year yeah. of high school. So I was I was younger for my grade. So I was still 15, but I was a sophomore. Uh-huh. Almost 16. I feel like it was 
I just was, a few months after. I was like, it wasn't that 15, far off. almost 16, because yeah. I was a sophomore. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I my periods have always been really bad. Just heavy. so bad. They're super heavy. Like, you wouldn't See? even believe how heavy. Like, there's been times <laughs> where I've gone to Disneyland, like, with friends. And I literally stayed in the hotel room all day because it was miserable. I wouldn't be able to walk around for 30 minutes without bleeding through my pants completely. And it was just, and it was like using like, we both used like super plus tampons and like all that stuff. And it, no matter what I did, like it wouldn't stop. Like it was so bad. Well, I just like bled a lot, a lot, like probably an ab, I probably bled an abnormal amount. This is oh, probably sure. like very TMI, but but I, like this is what you, you guys know, are signing like, up for. Yeah, so some sorry. of you wanted to know, so here yeah. you go. And I don't really care talking about it. Like I yeah. really don't mind. And so I remember the first time I got my period, I wasn't bleeding or anything yet. Like I didn't know, and like I've never felt what like a cramp felt like before. Ugh. But I don't think because I've never had cramps since the first time I ever got my period. You've but never no, had cramps. I literally since? don't get cramps. I just bleed like an insane amount swear on my life i don't get cramps wow like even that's now, a I'm on blessing right now like i have not Ugh. whatever I get the worst but i was like cramping so bad and like even my mom was asking me like are you sure you weren't just starting your period i was like no mom like this is horrible like i was in the fetal position on the bathroom floor and then she took me to urgent care because she was convinced like okay maybe something is wrong because like, I have cramps, and they're not like that. Yeah. Like, that's really bad. And then I remember sitting on the table, and the doctor coming in, asking me questions, and I'm still, like, dying, whatever. And then he leaves, and then I'm sitting there, and then I, like, feel it, and I start bleeding, and I, like, look at my mom, and I just start crying because I felt so stupid. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh, it's, like, just my period. But, like, bro, those You're like, suck. I, nobody tells you what to yeah, expect, like, and every bo- everybody's body is different, yeah. so it's like, and so I was like embarrassed. You don't know what to expect. I was like super embarrassed, yeah, because I thought that something was like wrong with me, and then and then it was like, just think that human nature. Yeah, I like was, yeah. nothing was wrong with me. You're just like a pussy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm like no, like it was that's really like crazy terrible. to me that you don't get cramps now though. Mm-hmm. Like I get the worst mother freaking cramps of my life. But what's weird is like. When I was little, especially, I always got cramps in my lower back and never in my like abdominal area. And that's what everybody tells you is like you get these cramps like in your uterus or whatever. Yeah. I always got it in my back. So like it, dancing was impossible. And like even just standing up too long, like I always stood like this because it hurt so bad. And like when your stomach cramps, you can go like this. But like when your back cramps, there's just like no yeah. way to like be comfortable. But recently, I want to say within the last year, now I get cramps in both my back and my stomach. And it's so miserable but like i don't know if you guys are aware but like my personal belief is like medication like ibuprofen and midol and all that stuff like it's not good for you especially once a month every single month yeah i don't think it's not good for you i always just try and drink extra water and like do other things to try and help myself but i just have to sit there with the pain you should try the the castor oil thing yeah i honestly might try that there's um if you guys don't know castor oil has a ton of health benefits for your skin for your hair like Mm -hmm. i use it all the time but you can do like a castor oil soak on your stomach Mm -hmm. so you can take like cotton you soak it in castor oil, warm castor oil. You're supposed to mix oil. it with something. I forget what. You can just do straight 100% pure mm. castor oil. And you soak it and you put it on your stomach and it helps with inflammation. Um, I'm blessed to not have cramps. But, <laughs> but I even use, having like, a heavy flow castor- in itself, like you don't have an easy period. No, you know? it's terrible. Yeah. And so, yeah, I don't know, maybe try it. And, you know, I just always thought heating packs work the best. Heating pads work. I feel like for me, coldness works better. I don't know why. Like yeah. when I was little, I did heating pads all the time. But My now like thing I'll is, get frozen peas yeah. and I'll lay on the couch. What That one time you came home, do you remember when I had otter pops rolled up in my shirt? So uh-uh. like this after work because my cramps were so bad and we didn't have anything big enough frozen so i just got an otter pop and like melted it a little bit and like rolled it in my shirt and just set it there all night my favorite great. thing is um laying on the bathroom floor yes because the bathroom floor is always cold it feels so like, good yeah but um going into the tiktok i posted it was that sound where it's like oh it's like god she needs a fucking exorcism mm-hmm. do you know that sound yes Anyway, so I made a TikTok to that, and it was like, if me now could talk to my 16-year-old self on the pill. Because I was on the pill for 
a year and a half and not for the reasons you're thinking yeah. i'm not dirty <laughs> but it was literally because my periods were so heavy i couldn't go anywhere do anything for like five days could not mm-hmm. and it, it wasn't like it would gradually no it was literally yeah. straight for five days it was awful and my periods would last like seven or eight days like really mm-hmm. long time yeah and mine so, always last up to like a week like i've yeah. never had like three day periods no. some people get that that's and so, so lucky. i went on the pill and when you're on the pill if you didn't know there's three weeks of the hormones and then the last week it's a placebo pill so it's literally nothing it's like sugar pills Mm -hmm. you just take them so that you see what day of the week you're on like you literally it doesn't do anything it's a placebo nothing and so my doctor told me that if i wanted i could completely skip the placebo week and just move on to the next week of hormones Mm -hmm. and then i wouldn't get my period at all so obviously i was like yeah i want that like i don't want to get my period so I did straight hormones, no placebo pills for like probably a year, like literally a whole year. And That's it was crazy. obviously nice in theory, but I was so effects, yeah. depressed. I was lucky I didn't gain weight because I know a lot of girls struggle with that. Mm-hmm. Um, I never had that, but my moods were awful. My mom was like, I'm she was like at this point i need to put you in like an insane asylum like you're acting like a crazy person all the time you don't want to go anywhere you stay in your room all day you are binge eating i was like yeah i don't know what's wrong with me clearly it's the pill it's yeah i mean it has huge effects on yeah and a lot of girls have experiences like me but then a lot of people are like well you know I didn't have that experience, which good for you. Yeah. I'm so glad for you. That was not me. Some people, you know, <laughs> stick on the pill for a while. Like, I don't know, but yeah, not me. And so then, um, it did make my acne better and stuff. But after a while, I think my body got used to the amount of hormones I on, I was on. Cause you can do different amounts. And I was on a very low amount of like what you can get in a birth mm-hmm. control. And so after a while, my body got pretty used to it. And then that's how they get you. You like keep having, you keep having to up your dosage and the hormones yep. that your body stays with it. And so my mom did a lot of research and obviously birth control is not natural. So it's not good for you. Anything yeah. to me that's not natural to the way your body is supposed to like yeah. work itself. It's yeah. probably not that good for you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but it is. And so getting off of it was like very weird. I still don't have a consistent period two years later. Yeah, you um, didn't have your period for like the first year. No, we I lived literally here. just got, yeah, I literally don't like <laughs> get it often now. And I think it's because of the pill. And so I don't know. I just hope it didn't have any other long lasting effects yeah i mean there's like studies that you can find and you know it's happened to a lot of girls whether it's like problems with conception or whatever but obviously those things are very rare and there's no proof that it leads to the pill but yeah i've personally never been on the pill because like i said this is no hate towards my mother i love you mom but like we just never talked about periods we never talked about like birth control we never (laughs) talked about sex we never talked about anything like that and so like I just like I'm blessed now that I don't have as heavy as periods, but when I was younger, it was so bad. Yeah, like truly terrible. And I didn't even know about Super Plus and Ultra tampons until you you introduced me to Dude, them. Ultra and I was like, is this like this the is a jumbo. godsend. Like, yeah. <laughs> and okay, this is a sidebar really fast. Most men think that the size of the tampon is determined on the size of your coochie coo. <laughs> That's not the case. If you didn't know already. Let me educate you really no. fast. It's not the size of your vagina. Okay? Vagina? <laughs> it's the size of your flow. Yeah. I worded that right, right? Yeah. The size of your flow, like how much you, you yeah, get sure. it. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, I had to teach my brothers that. So oh. <laughs> I've never, I would never talk to my brother about it. Like, you don't need to know. Well, I have older brothers. Like they have girlfriends that like experience shit That's like true, that. I so guess. they ask me questions and then, yeah. Yeah. That's gotta funny educate them a little bit talking about like the sex talk and stuff yeah. my mom i remember my mom and dad took me to dinner when i was like probably six six yeah i was young all my siblings and just because you know when you're little and you're curious and you have questions like where does a baby come from all that stuff like i was curious about it yeah. and i think most kids are i guess i was i was a very dumb kid i just like yeah. didn't care what was going on around me <laughs> well i was like curious and they had a, they had a book they read it to each like me sadie and noah like they 
it's not like a big thing, but like, yeah, you know, you take your, they took me out and they read this book to me and they didn't really like explain it, explain it, but like they explained it enough to where I thought that, that so funny. my mom didn't like swallow a baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I always believe that God just put a baby in your stomach. Like well, that, I guess does. that's what my, but I just believe that like, you know no, what I mean? No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get what you mean. I was just like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, I know. I was gullible as fuck. You tell me anything, I'll believe you. <laughs> you still are. Still am. <laughs> but as a kid, pretty gullible. I was like, yeah, no, anyways, yeah. continue. No, that's funny, but I don't know, just going on to another topic, like, I feel like when you have, like, a boyfriend and, like, you have all this, like, girly stuff, I never, I was, like, so open about it personally. Do like, you know what I mean? What do you mean by, like, like telling him? yeah like about, periods and stuff oh, and like i was so insecure about it really yeah huh well, i'm realizing how different we are <laughs> yeah we are very different <laughs> like as a kid i never asked my parents any of that i remember my mom sitting my brother down for the talk when he had a serious girlfriend at like 17 16 yeah no younger like 15 but i remember my mom being like oh kelsey get out like i talked to Riley <laughs> about this me being like okay what the fuck like i didn't realize how babies were born until like maybe third fourth grade like i was way older and my friend at the playground explained it to me and i got so mad at her because i was like that's not true <laughs> you're like yes it is i was so like just in denial of the world around me and i was like uh, it never made any sense to me but i got older i figured it out guys i'm not that <laughs> stupid <now. laughs> but it's just weird like i don't know yeah no I like know. i can't imagine having that conversation with your parents so that'd be so awkward it wasn't weird like they, like you were little enough to just yeah, be like okay it, it's not like they're weird about it like at yeah. all because it's like a normal thing and i was like my mom was always very open about things and always explained yeah. things to me and if i ever had questions like my mom never gave me a reason to not come to her for something mm -hmm. but for some reason i used to be so embarrassed about things like i used to be so I insecure like a lot of kids, yeah and yeah. i wouldn't say anything and so there was a lot of un unanswered questions i had probably like throughout high school but mm -hmm. i always felt weird going to my mom but my mom never yeah. gave me a reason my mom but was now, that like, same way yeah i told my mom oh, now almost it's, now everything it's bad, maybe yeah. too much to be like honest my mom was the same way i feel like i played a role in that like i was so afraid of talking about it so mm -hmm. like i i could go to my mom about anything like I wasn't, my mom and I had very open stuff, but I was never going to go to her and be like, hey mom, like how does this work? Like yeah. I just didn't. And yeah. like my mom was also a teen mom. So I feel like she had a fear that if she like taught me that I'd be a teen mom too. Oh. You know what I mean? That's my, that's my <laughs> guess. This is not the truth. But like. Well, you beat teen pregnancy. I did. Yay. Not like me. we. Not like it was hard. Also <laughs> another thing. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know what the stereotype is. And I might sound conceited right now, which I don't really care. I'm scared. If you're a pretty girl, automatically everyone thinks you're a slut. No, this is true. Like it's so annoying. It's like yeah. swear. And it's not it doesn't even matter, like I guess your looks don't matter, but just like the way you dress, the way you present yourself, if you're just like yeah. a hot girl, like hot girl shit like it's all the, the time it's the same like, way that like people say like if girls dress a certain way then yeah. they're asking for it and it's like, like not if like you're that just confident and like you go to parties and mm. you have friends and you just act like you're the shit automatically people are like <laughs> oh like my gosh no it's true no it they're is like, true oh her body count must be like freaking sky they high they just assume because it's so offensive yeah it's yeah no we've gotten that a lot and i don't know i don't know if this is coming off wrong i really hope it's not but like no. It is offensive because so many people like automatically assume that. And then when you explain like, oh, that's not me, which that's I shouldn't have to. That's literally not true. But when I do, then it's like, what? No way. Yeah. No, it just feels like, like the, no way you're lying. And I'm like, no. Yeah. And it's not like I share what I, what like, yeah, that's nobody's business except mine. Yeah. But I'm just like, no, that's not me as a person. That's not what I believe in. And, and I would never be that like that. That's what you take from me just wearing a cute a dress tank and top heels and, and yeah. my hair curled yeah and i am a flirt so i mean i get it but <laughs> we were talking about this the other night i feel oh, like oh we should talk remember? about this yeah we okay, should but not, not as deep as we no, talked no, no, about no. the other day we only got like five minutes left so. but yeah i feel like it's hard because i flirt this is what we decided i think <laughs> Kelsey's a tease. Okay, no. Yes, you are. I flirt not in a bad way, by but you being are. mean. Like, that's just like 
I don't even know why. I don't know how. I haven't flirted with somebody in a very long time. Yeah. So this is like past tense. Well, we, but like, we came to the conclusion that Kelsey is a hot flirt and I'm a cute flirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So Kelsey will just like freaking tease you and like be like, but I'm not way too tease. good for you. Yeah. No, it's true. And I'm just so like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like I, your hair is so cute. I like love it. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I, I don't want to say play hard to get. No, you do. But like I play hard you play, to get. I don't. Bryn's just like, well, like, yeah, I'm just like giggle. And that way, if they, <laughs> if they like want to kiss you or something, you could just be like, hey, no. Like, yeah, okay. no, I, yeah, I've never kissed a guy that I just met ever. That you just met? No. Never. I feel like you have. Let me think. No, I haven't. There's no way you haven't. Swear. Swear on my life. Okay, well, I have, but I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I I just won't give it to them and I love it. It's great. Yeah, no. I I'll like, hold their hand for a lo- I'll hold their hand hold and walk up, around with them. In my like eyeball. they're my boyfriend and I won't kiss them. That's the key. That's what you guys have to do. <laughs> oh, there's something in Kelsey's eye. I got it. We're saved. No, but <laughs> along those lines, <laughs> I Okay, again, this is so past tense because I was such a flirt in high school like and I look back in high school pictures and I was so ugly so I don't know who I thought I was but like I my ego was you know and so I would always like make it a goal I'd like this is gonna come off so bad but I just make it a goal I'd just be like I'd find somebody in the room that I thought was cute and I'd just like make it a goal of mine like I want him to kiss me and how am I gonna do it like and every time I would win the game so Mind you, they were butt fuck ugly. So it's not like okay, I was well, pulling these. Okay, well, when you're in these. high school and like everyone's kissing any, everybody, it doesn't right. really matter. Right. Exactly. That's so yeah, funny. Was, yeah, I know. It was actually, I don't like talking about this. Okay, we don't <laughs> have to talk about it. Anymore. I'm embarrassed by my past self. I am saved now. Jesus has saved me. I am <laughs> pure. <laughs> no, same. God. But I was also, I also just always had a boyfriend, so I yeah. never went around you kissing have the people, opportunity. you know? This was me, what's the correct term? Like, I wanted a boyfriend so bad and nobody would date me, so this is how I coped. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> but anyways, now, Bryn and I are freaking loners, and we don't do any of that anymore. Nope. We don't go to parties, we don't just go flirt with a bunch I'm of guys. I'm looking for a husband, like, so I'm over the the game. No, the roster is gone. We are looking for husbands. I'm now. over the games. I don't want it. And yeah. Agreed. That's my conclusion. Agreed. Okay, well that now was Now we a, just now now we just have to find guys our age that aren't complete idiots. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys can relate to any of this Please tell us so that Please we don't feel us. as embarrassed for yeah. opening up about all this. And I hope that maybe I answered some questions about, yeah. I know some people were asking about, you know, the girl talk stuff. The girl So shit. I hope that some of that was answered. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's been, I was like. It's been eventful. I like really don't like, I could talk about this all day. I'm not embarrassed at all. No, me too. I feel like it was hard because when I was younger, I didn't feel comfortable, but now I'm in a place where it like literally doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Like if you guys have any questions under the sun that maybe you don't feel comfortable going to your parents or, I mean, you should. Yeah. But, but like you can, you can always us. text us and you can text us at, I do have a list. People are talking about it. You don't have a list. I do. I don't think you have Anyways. A list. Anyways. I do have a list. You can text us at 310-742-0083. Slay. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. It was kind of a short and sweet one. I had fun. But I loved it. Yeah, it was super yeah, I had fun. fun. I embarrassed myself a little bit, but yeah, nothing me too. Here. It's okay. Now the whole world <laughs> knows about my flow, so. <laughs> now the whole world knows. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Thank you guys so Thank much for you. watching. Bye. Peace out. What is that for? You're supposed to, and then I go like this. Ow, you're like gripping my hair. (sighs) Okay, bye. Goodbye. (laughs) XOXO.